exhilaration is the word. Like, wow, you can go in that cold water and not only be okay, but feel amazing after. And yeah, just feel full of energy, full of life, like really alive, you know? You know, I've gone through a lot in the last 1,500 days. Going in the sea is that little bit of respite. And I really do think it, it kind of resets my nervous system. It helps me to come back to myself. Like some days I can literally feel, I would say like prickly feeling in my body until I get in the sea. It kind of brings me back to neutral. feels quite surreal and it feels a bit like I'm telling someone else's story because that's just mad that I've been in the sea for 1,500 days. Just a bit bonkers. Because <laughs> if you told me that on day one, I never would have believed you. I would have said you were joking. So when I very first decided to explore going in the water, it was May. And that's quite cold time of year in the water. And I was just determined to get in, but I had all these fears. I, I was really afraid of the waves. I was really afraid of sharks, jellyfish, which are things that I'm still scared of, but um, maybe have a slightly more rational mindset towards them. Um, but I, I, I remember really vividly being there in front of the sea and just kind of almost coaching myself, thinking, okay, I don't have to do anything really scary. I don't have to swim way out. I could just get in the sea and go somewhere that feels safe. And I do remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this is so cold, <laughs> but feeling so energized and so proud of myself after that I'd done something that I was scared of. I think that's probably actually like quite important for me because I'd never really seen myself as someone that did scary things before. Like, you know, I would never be tempted to go bungee jumping or anything like that. But that was something that scared me and to overcome that was really quite new and exciting. Life can be so up and down, messy, complicated. Going in the sea keeps it simple. I remember, I remember who I am when I go in the sea. I remember that I'm not all the fussiness, all the drama, the things going wrong, all the things going really right, I'm none of that. I'm just, you know, I'm just part of nature. When I first set up Salt and Light Retreat, I knew that I wanted to share well-being practices and nature with people. And now we have retreat days, moon gatherings every other week, pretty much, weekend retreats, and then I do trainings, workshops, and work one-to-one -one with people. So it's quite a broad spectrum now, um, but it is really the same drive, the same goal, helping people feel better, most of all. My whole approach to yoga, to well-being, it does not need to be fancy. I just want to share lovely things with lovely people. That's what it is. Like, it's really simple, but really effective. The biggest thing I've learned is that I'm braver than I think. That I am strong and resilient. 
and one of my mantras when I go and see is I can do hard things every day because that's what I'm doing. I'm going in the sea every day or I'm going in some cold water every day and that's hard and I can do it. If I could do that, I can do other hard things too.